This is a Berlin Locomotive Works. Very rare, there's only 100 of these made. The RGS Rotary Snowplow number two. Now this is an SN3 scale or gauge, however you want to look at it. And it is not only just a static model, which is just absolutely delightful to look at, it is also has sound. I can figure out how to turn the sound on. So, you can hear the hiss of the, of the steam. Now, the uh, the chuff sound. If you had a an engine on there with PFM sound, this this unit would also make the same chuff sound. But what's really interesting is that the front of it actually works. And the motor goes around, and you can flip the snow from either side. And it has the lights. On, and then here, and the cab light on, <clears throat> and we have the coal tender, and then we have the auxiliary tender with it. So this one, whoops, hard to see with my. Uh, well, anyway, these these things flip up. It's really going to be hard to do one-handed, and. The motor mechanism that runs the rotary is in here. The sound is all in here. Now this PFM sound, it's not DC sound, DCC sound. And uh, of course the auxiliary tender. This thing does run on DC current, but you have to have PFM sound to actually make uh, the thing animated and work. Or you can convert it to DCC. Like I said, there's only a thousand of these made, or I'm sorry, a hundred of these made. They're very rare. And the PFM sound that I'm talking about, for those of you uh, that aren't quite sure what I'm talking about, is we'll follow the wires down. This is a power supply that supplies it the uh, filtered electricity, and then this is the This is the sound, and this unit's also for sale on going to battery-powered locomotives. And you have all kinds of adjustments for your chuff and, and, and an array of different fine-tuned things. And there's a, this is a Mark II, the Mark III is going to come out next month. So at any rate, uh, <coughs> This is now. This does is not self-powered, so you have to you actually have to have a an engine push it, which is I think really really cool. But they weren't self-powered back then. You had to have an engine push them. Trying to get out of the, the sun here or out of the shadow. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little plow underneath that front truck, which actually turns with the truck. Berlin Locomotive Works makes just super stuff. Or did. He's, uh, he's now not making any more. Okay, well at any rate, the other side looks just about the same, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call this quits. Uh, thank you for watching the video.